so you talk about artificial neural networks, uh, AI. Um, you know, I, I there was a very famous, I think, uh, debate between Jack Ma and uh, Elon Musk about what's the future of AI and these types of things. Uh, I, I like this this TV show called The Person of Interest, and it, it's following kind of this this uh, um, idea that once created by man, artificial intelligence systems can start to take over public and private uh, data systems. Yep. What's your thoughts on this? How 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 you how do you see this evolving over the next twenty years? How much time do we have? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We. <laughs> Yeah, we have to catch up. Okay, <laughs> but what, what do you think? I mean, what is the short uh, answer? Never. Never. AI will do much better than we do with our rational mind, but the rational slash mechanical mind. Mm. But we are conscious being, and consciousness is not a property of computers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, consciousness is a quantum property is not a, a is a property of qubits which are entangled yeah. and entanglement is the difference between quantum and classical in classical you have bits in quantum you have qubit the best that you can do moving from quantum to classical is a qubit which is an infinity of states there are will be will be points in a surface of a sphere yeah. that will be you know the, it's called the block sphere. Okay, so those points in the surface of the sphere reduce in this physical world, in this space time, zero and one. That's it. So that's how differ, different is consciousness. And consciousness, of course, is the capacity to feel, to know within ourselves, not within meaning in the heart or right. the brain, or not in the physical. The within is another dimension, is the dimension which is the, the Hilbert space, corresponds to the Hilbert space of quantum physics. The Hilbert space is an n-dimensional space where each core, each coordinates is complex number, not a real number. So because of that, you can create situations in which the sum of the parts is more than the sum of the parts, which, you know, is twisted, yes. but is twisted like quantum mechanics is twisted. A particle, an electron is both a particle and a wave. Go figure, right? What does it mean? It means that an electron is a system. It cannot be an atom like, you know, the atoms of Democritus, you know, bounded, little hard with certain properties and so on. No. The electrons are systems that behave, when we measure them here, right. behave like a particle, like if mm. it was an atom, okay? But when they interact, they share states, that's entanglement, they share something. And these states that are shared are independent from the distance. Therefore, when I change, when I measure something here, immediately something here happens. That's magic. Mm. No, no, no time to move from, information from here to there mm. instantaneously. So this is the property that is inherent in our consciousness yeah. and also in our free will. Right. In a theory which I have developed with a famous uh, physicist, uh, Italian physicist, is a, is a, is a specialist in quantum, phys in, uh, quantum information. Uh, uh, the, the actual collapse of the wave function which is how a, a quantum state becomes a physical state in right. space-time. Yeah. So you, you go from many to one, many states possible in superposition to one. That occurs by virtue of the free will. The free will makes that conversion. Mm. So mm. that's a revolutionary view yeah, is a, is a, it, uh, this will become a, a chapter in the book that will come out in a month or two. And uh, it, it is a paper available in uh, an archive already, uh, but as a, you know, uh, a preprint. So, so this theory is really the first theory of consciousness and free will, which goes against yeah. the grain 
of how people are thinking, typically scientists are thinking about uh, quantum, classical, and you know, and free will in particular. But you're marrying philosophy and physics no, together. No, this, this is physics. But you talk about this free will. Physics. Free will is, is free will is not free will. You free. call it you call it a physics. Absolutely. Absolutely, it is. It, it is free will. It, it is physics in this model, in this theory. In the model, it is physics. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It is physics. So how does that consciousness interface? It basically, basically, but but it is already that in in a way is already known, but nobody wants, nobody accepts it because somehow people do not like free will. Free will. Because if, if if reality has free will, it means that if you know, you you are not better than anybody right. else, right? And this is why the artificial intelligence, which lacks free will, can never... Artificial intelligence can never is deterministic, yeah. no free will. Yeah, exactly. The sum of the parts is the whole. In, in a computer, the sum of the parts, which are the, the parts are the, the algorithms that interact. The interaction, the interaction is the sum of the parts, which are the algorithms. The sum of the algorithms is all there is. There is no whole as an independent entity that can affect the parts. Mm -hmm. But in quantum physics, you can. In quantum physics, when you have this, this superposition and entanglement, new entanglement creates new holes that are more than the sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. And that's what nobody had before understood. That's part of this paper, part got of this theory. So that human to, to machine interface, if, if we go back to synaptics and one of the big inventions was the touch controller, where you have a human to machine interface mm -hmm. and, and it, what you're talking yeah. about now is something much much oh, is taking I mean, this to the to the extreme I mean, man this but is, is it the same kind of process of human to machine uh, interaction that no well, no no this, this is this is i mean this it's, is it's what, way beyond this but. is what makes us human yeah. i mean this is this is big right because because science and today is telling us that we are machines we are biological complex machine. That's it. There is no consciousness other than the functioning of the machine. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying no. The function of the machine is the correlate of something that involves consciousness driving this machine. We are controlled by this entity that we really are. Yes. We are a quantum entity. We, we think that we are the body but we are this quantum entity that controls the body. Yeah. Big difference. I mean, we, uh, this theory returns, returns power to human beings that the people that tell you that you are a machine are taken away from you. Yes. If you are a machine, what the hell are you going to do? I mean, the, the, you know, especially if the machines are smarter in the mechanical sense, controlled by smarter people, people than you. Exactly. They, they know that they are not machines perhaps, but in any event, they want to control you through the machines that they make. Right. Come on. I mean, we have to wake up. This is what's going on today. So how do we manage these machines in the future? You regulate? Uh, well, there, there has to be some 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 form of regulation, obviously, because yeah. because, uh, you know, because you, you can imagine how much mischief you can do yes. if you control those machines. With these smart people. These smart people <laughs> behind, uh, they, they control them, and, but they pretend that they are not, they're not, they are not, they're innocent. Are, they yes. are, yeah, they are innocent. Yes. Yeah, but they, they, you know, they, right. yeah. Uh -huh. Interesting. This, uh, I see you very animated, and this, this is the exciting part of the book. Uh, I don't know, Sergio, if you want to take some question. Uh...